In today's world, the battles over identity, self-expression, and the protection of rights are at the heart of our most intense political and social conflicts. The deep-seated fears of those who feel their personal freedoms are under siege evoke profound empathy among supporters, while the mocking responses from others highlight the vast cultural chasm that divides us. This clash of emotions on both sides offers a glimpse into the urgent need for empathy and dialogue in a society increasingly torn apart by polarization. Why are y'all voting for Kamala Harris? I don't want to lose my rights. Like, I am a trans man and I'm gay and I have been pregnant and I've had an abortion before and I don't want to lose that. I'm afraid of not being able to be myself anymore because from what I've heard, Trump's America doesn't want me to look like this. So that's why I'm here today and that's why I'm voting blue. What about you? Um, I've also been pregnant and had an abortion before. I was a minor and it would have been dangerous for me to properly, like, it would have been dangerous for me to carry a baby with, like, personal reasons and everything um i also like i'm very you know alternative alternative and i feel like if trump were to win i wouldn't be able to like express myself through my looks and everything and wouldn't be able to have the piercings or the dyed hair or the tattoos that i want you know i would be able to be myself and um my dad's very pro-trump and i'm just very pro Kamala. <laughs> yeah. Pro-Kamala. yeah i don't you know it's just, does that cause a divide at all? Yeah, it definitely does. He thinks that uh, Kamala's going to ruin the country, but I think that Trump would do worse, like, a lot. Like, Kamala is going to be good for the country. As we examine the concerns surrounding the rights and identities of those participating in rallies, it's impossible to ignore how the left's fear of losing their rights under the Trump administration feeds into a broader narrative. A narrative that sees conservative policies as a direct threat to the LGBTQ community. The reactions to these fears, especially the scornful comments, lay bare the deep ideological divide between conservatives and progressives. This widening gap fuels a culture war where each side views the other not just as a difference of opinion but as a fundamental threat to their very existence.